everybody, it's Rosemary Jane, and we have good news. The error we were having with embedding content from Google Drive resource app is uh, fixed. We got a message from the Schoology um, engineering team today. And so you may have to go in and clear your browser cache and cookies. Um, that link for how to do that will be in the bottom of this video. So look in the information below. Um, but we're going to look at how to use your Bitmoji Classroom um, as a course home base, um, as a visual home base. So we wanna embed that content directly. If you put it in a folder, you'll get a little bit of a wider view on the browser for your students. Um, if you put it right on the main landing page of the course, it will be a little more narrow because of the um, calendar panel. Um, so it's up to you how you do it. I like to tuck it into a folder, then I would just link to that with an update. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I've got my Bitmoji Classroom and I made some changes to it or updated it, whatever. Um, I want to now insert it in my course. So I'm in a course and I'm going to add materials and I'm going to add a page. I'm going to give my page a name and then go to insert content, Google Drive resource app. Click on that and search for my document in my Google Drive resource app. You will have to make sure that you've connected your Google Drive uh, to Schoology. You can easily Google how to do that. All right, and then right here on my Bitmoji Classroom, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the slide. I do still recommend a PDF because across devices, like especially if they're using a mobile phone, um, it's just it's a little more likely to work well with it, but it's been working well. Our CPS students are using web browsers, so I'm gonna go directly for the slides. Click Import, Import Embedded. Now, it drops it in with a blank white space. You could either put a heading, I like to delete the space, and I click to select the em embedded content, and then I'm gonna resize it by using those little arrows on the corner. I just eyeball it to make it to about the size of the frame. And then before I hit create, I'm gonna pause. I don't want it to display on a new page. I want it displayed right in line in my course. So I click display in line, and then I click create. There it is right inside of my course. Now I did put it on the main landing page so it is a little more narrow. So again, if you just wanted to pop it into a folder instead, it will appear um, a little bit broader. Uh, you'll have more, more space to view, especially if your details are very small, um, you just might wanna consider that. Um, so anyway, this is the Bitmoji Classroom embedded. Now, if you wanna put it in that folder and link right to it, I'm gonna show you how to do that. From my updates that pop video, um, I've got a page that I keep displayed um, or keep unpublished. And then I'm just gonna say, click the image below to start your work. For my Bitmoji Classroom, I did download it as a PNG image. So I have that sitting in my downloads. Go to insert content. This time I am gonna insert an image, attach it, and it's in my downloads. So I just add it. Again, I delete the white space. I forgot two white spaces. Select the image and then I'm gonna resize it down. I just want it like the size of a thumbnail, just so they get that visual prompt of the Bitmoji Classroom. But then I want it to link right into the folder. So I've got this folder here, copy that. Add that to that image. All right, so now I just take my cursor and select that content. I do save it, so I have it, if I need to copy it later. And then I'm just going to post an update. Updates. Paste. Post. Okay. Once it's posted, my students should be able to log in. And then they get a visual um, prompting them to log in to click the image below to go into their course. So like right there, they would just see that. They would click it. And then they could go straight into the folder that it's connected to, so they're in the folder. So I don't have to have it right on my landing page if I want it to appear um, bigger. So there it is, your Bitmoji Classroom as a visual home base. You can go in there, start working right away. And now that embedding with Google is working, um, as you make live changes in your slides, it will just make those changes in your embedded content. So if I do that, Oh, this is where I tripped up last time. Okay, because I built in a different course. All right, as you make your changes, they will just update automatically right there in your slides. So embed your slides.